I am stood in front of the Mylas DT52, and this is the first one in the UK. Now, I don't know much about this, but I found somebody who does. So, Eric, what can you tell me about this brand new machine? Well, it's brand new to the UK, but we were introduced to it by um, some of the European dealers. As you know, we handle the handwire range of sliding head machines, and a number of those dealers in Europe are also handling Mylas which they feel fits into a niche between a sliding head machine and a heavier duty fixed head machine. So, where would you put this in the market? Uh, it's for companies that want to do high production bar work. Um, it can go up to 65 millimeter. This particular model is a DT52, which is two inch capacity, but it's, it gives you the option of uh, using both turrets simultaneously or using it for synchronous turning. So it's a very, very flexible machine. Now what sort of customizable options can you get on this machine? Because you can actually turn it into a more of a sliding head as well. You can, this is the double turret version. Uh, it's got an eight station turret mounted on the headstock, but you can have a platen system set up there, which gives you a very much like the sliding head configuration. That's got its own Y axis on, so you can move it up and down to center line. So it gives you a lot of options with more tools and more flexibility. Now we've talked a lot about inside the machine. But what about the system behind it? What about the program inside of it? What does this machine come with? And what sort of added extras do you get from the Mylas side of it, like the screen we've seen behind you? Okay, well this is um, their own front end on the machine, so it's very configured to give the customer ease of use in terms of maintenance, program setup and so on. It's a dual channel uh, FANUC 32 system, so it's very, very capable. Now what sort of sizes are we looking at for work? You said it goes up to a 65mm diameter, but what about length? What about stroke of the machine? Maximum turn diameter is 180mm, but generally people would use it mostly for bar work. You've got three bar capacities. It starts at 42mm and it goes to 52 and then 65 And I'm really. glad you've gone on to bar work because there's something quite strange in there. You've actually got a tail stock as well. Yes, that goes alongside the subspindle, so you've got the option if you need a long shaft to be supported, you can initially support it there and then subsequently use it in the, in the subspindle. And let's talk about bar capacity and swing. What size work can you do on this machine? Well, it's a 180mm maximum turn diameter, but invariably people are using it for bar, bar work and there's three sizes that it comes as standard with 42mm, uh, you can have 52 or 65 mil, depending on the spindle speed you need. That must really help with the tail stock when you're doing your bigger bars, you can keep it supported all the way through. Yeah, exactly, with the weight of bar and so on, you've got a lot more support there. And what about tooling? How many tools can I have on this? Because obviously there's two turrets on here. Yes, yeah, so I mean the front turret is uh, eight station, but the upper turret is 12 station, but with the option of half indexing to 24 positions. So you've got a very good selection of tools available on there. So this machine has a lot for quite a small footprint. Yeah. It fits in the market where there's a gap, where people who don't have a lot of sliding head work, but do have some, they can get this machine to run fixed head and sliding head parts. So if people have, have seen this and want to know more about it, how can they get in contact with you guys here at Dugard to find out more about it? Well, of course, just give us a call and we can arrange for one of our local area sales guys to come and see you. Uh, it's going to be on the website, please check it out, or uh, go to Mylas's website in Taiwan, you'll see a number of the machines on display there.